There aren't many phones that have been released in the past five or 10 years that have truly excited me. And I think a lot of that comes down to how stagnant the design of modern smartphones have gotten. This one though, this one's different. I've spent the past 48 hours with Samsung's new Z Flip 3, and I can already tell you that this is the phone that I'm gonna wanna keep in my pocket for a long time, for a lot of different reasons. I'm finally starting to see why guys like Austin Evans and Quinn from Snazzy Labs have been absolutely raving about the various iterations of the Z Flip for the past year. To be honest, it has almost nothing to do with all the nerdy stuff that us tech YouTubers usually get excited about. It doesn't have the greatest display of all time or cameras that that wow you with every picture you take, or even an extra large battery. In those ways, this phone isn't special. But that's okay, because this phone has something that all of those other phones don't. It's novel and completely unique in design, and after years and years of boring glass slabs, it's extremely refreshing to use. The Flip 3 is a head turner. Now, I personally went with the stealthy matte black version, but you can get it in a number of colors like green, purple, gray, white, cream, and pink, all of which stand out more than the colorway that I have. When it's fully open, it just looks like a normal phone. In fact, if I handed a Z Flip 3 to someone who has never seen the phone before, I don't think they'd think anything of it. It just looks like every other smartphone when it's completely open. But if someone catches you folding it shut, it's kind of shocking to them. They kind of look at you and smile like, did you just fold your phone in half, what? And I think that's exactly what Samsung was going for. When it's folded shut and sitting on a table, it catches your eye, especially when that cover display is turned on. Almost all of Samsung's branding suggests that the person that buys this phone wants to stand out. But as a person that most definitely does not want to do that, I can tell you that this phone excites me for other reasons. The Z Flip 3 really does feel incredible to use. The hinge that pivots the phone from open to close feels rock solid and as smooth as butter in operation. Whoever designed this thing deserves an award because it honestly feels like it could last for decades without a hitch. It locks into the open position with confidence, and then when you close it, the magnets snap it shut with a satisfying sound. It's hard to talk about long-term durability after only a couple of days with this phone, but after owning both of the previous Galaxy Fold devices in the past, I can tell you that the Z Flip 3 definitely feels more refined. You know how the displays of laptops wobble around if you move them too much? I kind of expected the same thing to happen with this phone, but that doesn't happen at all. The phone will stay perfectly rigid at almost any angle, and it doesn't move or shift around when you shake it. It's those little things that make the Z Flip 3 feel like an expensive phone. They've made the phone IPX8 water resistant too, which is a huge deal for peace of mind. The X in IPX8 means it isn't rated for dust resistance, so maybe don't take it to a beach or a desert anytime soon, but the fact that they've made a phone with so many mechanical moving parts water resistant is kind of a technical marvel. I also really like that they flattened out the side rails for a more modern look, but then they've just rounded it off at the very edges so that it's still a comfortable phone to hold. Honestly, it's just a really clean, good looking phone in my opinion. That glossy top portion that houses the cover display makes it reminiscent of the good old Pixel 2 XL, and I love that. The cover display is one of the biggest upgrades over last year's Z Flip, and it definitely makes a difference. There are a bunch of different widgets that you can scroll through, like the weather, alarms, timers, music controls, and more, but you can also read and dismiss notifications and use things like Samsung Pay all without opening up your phone. My personal favorite part of the cover display though is how much easier it is to use the rear facing cameras as front facing cameras. It's just big enough to see yourself to get your framing right. And as a result, any selfies you take end up looking much better than phones that just use their front facing cameras. I'm gonna be doing a lot more testing of the cameras on this phone over the next week and I'll have plenty more samples to share with you in my full review. So you should definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Before I talk about the massive improvements that they've made to this inner display, I just need to take 60 seconds to thank the sponsor of this video, Backblaze. Backblaze is an amazing service that makes sure all of your data is securely backed up in the cloud. For only seven bucks a month, you can get unlimited backup space for your PC or Mac. You can back up documents, music, photos, videos, projects, quite literally all of your data. You can restore the files from anywhere. You can download them directly from the web or use their awesome restore by mail service. You buy a hard drive, they'll put your data on it and then ship it to you overnight. And then you can send it back to them after you restore your data for a full refund. Backblaze has restored over 50 plus billion files for customers all over the world and you should definitely get it. It comes recommended by the New York Times, Macworld, Tom's Guide, 9to5Mac, and now, me. Guys, I cannot stress 
how important it is to back up your data. Whether it's your precious family photos or that thesis you're working on, there's always something on your computer that you don't want to lose. So go to backblaze.com slash marksperl for a 15 day free trial and get peace of mind knowing your files are backed up securely in the cloud with Backblaze. All right, let's talk about the display improvements. The Z Flip 3 still has the same size 6.7 inch display as last year, but it is a very different panel. First of all, even though it is still only 1080p, it runs at a 120 hertz refresh rate, so it feels much more fluid and snappy than last year. Samsung also claims that they've made their inner display 80% more durable than before, and they've attached a screen protector from the factory, although it annoyingly doesn't cover the area of the screen directly above the hole punch. While I still wouldn't be trying to scratch or push on this display too hard anytime soon, I do have a lot more confidence in this screen compared to last year's iteration. There's still a crease though, right in that center where the phone folds, and yes, you can see it and feel it in everyday use. Most of the time it will be mostly invisible, but it's definitely still there. Is it a deal breaker? No, of course not. But would I like to see it disappear somehow in future versions of this phone? Absolutely. The display is one of Samsung's foldable dynamic AMOLEDs, so you can expect color and contrast to be every bit as great as Samsung's other flagship phones. As for those nerdy internal specs I spoke about earlier, this year's Flip comes with a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 888, 8GB eight of RAM, and either 128 or 256 gigs of storage. It feels every bit as fast as my other flagships like my S21 Ultra or my OnePlus 9 Pro, especially with that 120Hz display. As cool and fun as this phone is though, I do have some concerns going forward. First of all, this 6.7 inch phone with a 120 hertz refresh rate display has a somewhat tiny 3300 milliamp hour battery. Now I understand why the battery is so small given that it has to fit two battery halves in each little square section of the phone, but that's almost definitely going to lead to poor battery life unless you choose to throttle the refresh rate back to 60 hertz, something that no self-respecting lover of technology should ever have to do. Secondly, I'm still somewhat worried about the long-term durability of the inner display. Like I said, the outside mechanical components like the hinge and the side rails feel absolutely fantastic. I have no worries about those whatsoever. But even though Samsung says the inner display is 80% more durable, I'm still concerned. There are plenty of reports out there from people whose first generation Z Flip displays have started to shatter around the center crease area just through normal use. Who knows, maybe these new displays have solved that issue, but that's something that can only be determined after owning one for a significant portion of time, so nobody can really speak to that right now. Here's the thing though, this is the cheapest foldable phone yet. The Z Flip 3 cost a thousand US dollars, and while that isn't exactly pocket change, I think it's kind of amazing that we were able to get the price of this technology so low so quickly. This is bleeding edge tech and it costs about the same as most flagships on the market. So like I said at the very beginning of this video, I can tell already that I'm gonna wanna use this phone for a long time. It's just so exciting and novel. And that's not a feeling that a modern smartphone has given me in a while. I got a lot more testing to do, but I'm really enjoying this little flip so far. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.